ahead and remove the center cap. There's a little notch in here. You want to go ahead and just pop a screwdriver on in there and gently pry that out. Remove your center cap, set that aside. Using a 19 millimeter socket, we want to go ahead and remove the lug nuts. With the lug nuts now removed, we want to go ahead and remove the wheel and tire. We want to go ahead and remove your bolt from here. Our particular piece of hardware is missing. So if yours is there, remove that one there. Over here, we have two 10 millimeter bolts. We're going to go ahead and remove these. We're going to remove this one 10 millimeter bolt right here. We're going to go ahead and remove this bolt right here. There would normally be a 10 millimeter bolt right here, but we had to replace it. And there is a 10 millimeter bolt right here. We're going to zip that off. Zip that off. We should be able to drop this whole trim piece right down and remove it from the vehicle. Using a 15 millimeter socket, an extension, and a bar, a breaker bar, we're going to go ahead and put it on the tensioner pulley. And we're going to pull on that clockwise. And that's going to allow us to remove our drive belt here. Just work that off. And go ahead and loosen that back down. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to go ahead and remove this center bolt right here. I want to take our old pulley, and there's a shim on the back here. I'm just going to go ahead and clean that up. Really doesn't serve much of a purpose besides being a shim or a spacer. I'm just going to take it and set it in for the new one. Take our bolt. Feed that through like so. And if you want, you could use a factory retainer clip. It just holds it in there like so. Okay, we take our pulley with our bolt. Okay, line that up. And okay, just start threading that bolt back in. We're just going to use a ratchet wrench here. Gives us some extra clearance, and we're going to go ahead and zip that bolt right down. Okay. 
once you get that bolt in there, you can snug it down. I'm gonna go ahead and just give that, you just wanna go ahead and give that pulley a spin, make sure everything is rolling nice and smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and torque this bolt down to 18 foot-pounds. Now we can go ahead and get our belt lined up. Go ahead and bring that tensioner up. Get our pulley popped on, or our belt onto the pulley. Making sure that the belt is in all of the grooves of all the components we need it to be in. And then we can release that tensioner. Go ahead and line up our under engine cover here. We'll go ahead and get our 10 millimeter bolt started. Now we're just going to crank those in a few threads by hand. We're not going to tighten them down yet until we get the lower bolts installed. And go ahead and install our bolt on the side right over here. Put this one in here. Let's go ahead and tighten this one down. Snug these two down. Go ahead and install your wheel. I'm going to go ahead and get our lug nuts all started by hand, and then we'll snug those down. Go ahead and torque the wheel lug nuts down to 98 foot pounds. Now, if you have a center cap, you want to go ahead and make sure that your lug nuts line up with these ports right here. Snap that on.